I'm here with Jillian Gunter and Tim Adams, and uh, they're here tonight for a screening of their film, The New Public. So, Jillian, do you want to maybe talk and say what, what is this film about? The film is um, follows the first four years of a small public high school in Brooklyn, New York. Um, it was started by a... That's a point guard, DJ, educator turned first-time principal, and he got a team of eight very idealistic um, educators together, and they opened this school. It's an art-based, uh, arts and media-based, non-traditional, uh, sort of very emphasi emphasizing strong relationships. Do you think that showing emotion means weakness? Yes, it does. Because if, like, if you cry, then it's like, it doesn't show that you're like a real man or whatever. So, I bawled my eyes out last night at home. I was doing the, uh, I was doing condolence thank you cards for my dad's death. And it's really, um, some have said it's the antidote to Waiting for Superman in that it is not pushing an agenda, it is very um, non-biased and honest portrayal, and it really is a picture of what our education system is like, an urban education system, especially in inner city schools today. The slug line for our film is it's bigger than school, and the idea of the film is to show how complicated the issues are and how they are historical, and how much is hoisted upon the school to fix the these, you know, historical woes. Okay, great. So, so Tim, could you talk a little bit about the role you played in the making of this film? Well, I got to be the composer on this film, which meant, um, you know, tackling all the music, um, a lot of hip-hop and a lot of soul, and it was, I mean, two genres that I love, so it was, it was a blast, and the movie being as good as it is helps a lot. What are some of the questions that come up when people, um, you know, after the film that people have for you? Uh, I think um, one thing, uh, you know, it depends on who's with us. If we bring students who are in the film, then it's all about um, um, how inspiring their story is and where they are now. And um, But I think in general, people are sort of taken by the film's honesty and sort of neutrality in terms of this, the topic. And people really want to know how they can... Um, what they can do to sort of help their public schools, but also just um, it evokes their own experiences as students um, or teachers or parents. And so, um, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, as a parent myself, I totally identified with the parents in your movie and, you know, like the frustrations that they encounter and all that stuff. It's, it, 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 I think that movie, the, the movie tells the story really well. Honestly, I could care less about a rapping. I could care less about the dancing. I mean, Moses, God knows when you're on stage, love it. But I want to see the grades. I'm here to talk about the importance of events like the Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival just to kind of get get your get your work out. Uh, yeah, it's really important. It's fantastic to be able to come to Minneapolis. I haven't been here for 10 years. The last time I was here, I was working on. Um, a little reality television show. I lived here for six weeks. Um, I thought it was a fantastic place and when I was invited to come here um, I think the work here is fantastic. Um, the films that are being shown here, everybody is really nice and I'm really enjoying the way I've been um, taken care of as a filmmaker. And there were 60 kids left at BCAM. Um, is there anything that either of you would like to add? To that? Um, I will just say that I grew up in New York City and I went to public schools my entire life, so it was really a personal story for me to tell, and I'd never seen a public school anything like the school I was filming um, and the dedication and enthusiasm of the people that were creating the school was really the impetus for me to make the film. And so I hope people come see it um, and bring tissues. <laughs> So that's it, the, the new public at the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Film Festival.